Okay, well, we're outside here, and you might not be able to judge by the boat behind me, but we're actually talking speeding. We're talking NASCAR, and I've got two big guys next to me here. We've got Joey Chit with the president of Daytona International Speedway, and we've also got Matthew Beecher, the Homestead Miami Speedway track president. And, guys, a uh, nice way to kind of bring Florida into the limelight here. We're coming into the end of the season. That's right. This has been a very competitive season. So are uh, you guys so stoked or what? Yeah, I mean, this is the best time of year for us. We're two weeks away from Ford Championship weekend. And as Joey will attest, it's been a tremendous year with 17 different winners, five of whom were uh, first time winners. So it's been a great year. Okay, so is this the time of the year where they start kind of biting their nails? There's two races left. Only three points separate Tony Stewart from Carl Edwards. Probably going to be the best chase we've ever seen. That's only three positions on the racetrack over two races. Don't know what's going to happen, but I'll tell you what, you have to be in the stands at Hope Said Miami Speedway to see it. Absolutely you do, and I know there's still some tickets left, so we're encouraging people. To, it's a huge event. I it mean, is it's a huge event. It's not just the race. I mean, there's there's tailgating. There's no, that's right. It, you're right. It all starts on Thursday uh, down on uh, South Beach at Loomis Park with a big concert. And then we've got three nights of racing, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And like you said, uh, race days are unlike anything else. You, it starts early in the morning. There's a, a slew of activities throughout the day, and it all culminates with the championship race. Now, why do you folks feel like uh, racing appeals to the whole family? Why has it become such a great American pastime? Well, you've got to think speed and the automobile is something that's really central or core to an American. Mm -hmm. you know, it's always about speed. We all, Everything we do in our daily lives is about fast. So when you can see guys on the track go fast, I mean, when you turn 16 and got your driver's license probably the first thing you talk about is how fast I can take my car so you know, I now, was dating my husband at the time that's what he was thinking luckily on the racetrack it's legal and they're doing it for prize money and to win championships but I think the, the love of the automobile has been always something special for Americans okay so prize money is being taken to a whole new level this time you got to talk to me about the baby sitting back yeah there. we've uh, we've got a new partner in contender boats located right there in Homestead Florida and this year we've partnered with them and the winner of the Ford 400 will actually take home that boat valued at about hundred and fifteen thousand dollars okay and you guys have to talk to me too about this naming thing that you have going on naming the boat yeah well we've uh, we've actually been talking to a number of the drivers about you know if you were to win the boat what would you name it and there's been some pretty uh, creative examples um, Uno was one of the driver's ideas since he's never won a race before, but it's definitely taken the race to another level. We'll certainly be, be deciding the series championship, but, you know, in addition to that, the winner of the race itself will go home with the boat. What do you so. think she should be called? I, I, you know, I kind of like uh, Homestead Miami Speedway myself. Uh, yeah, you know, are you partial to Daytona right. then in that case, Joey? You know, at the end of the day, it's all about speed. So somehow it's got to be about fast or speed. And I think even one of the drivers had 42 car pile up. So there's some wrecks involved too. <laughs> so you never know. But and we it, want them to use that boat safely. That's they, right. We want them to take it easy that's on right. the water. Um, so talk to me about how the challenges differ from the beginning of the season to later in the season. Well, you know, Florida has such an advantage over all the other states in terms of racing and what we do. We start the season with the biggest event on our calendar, which is the Daytona 500. It's been going on for over 50 years. Daytona is the birthplace of NASCAR. We end it after so many months in Miami with the championship. How many other states would just die to have those opportunities in terms of starting the season in Daytona, finishing in Miami? And really, that's what it's about, you know, this, this creation of NASCAR and the France family and how special it is. So for us, I think we're excited. We get to start with a big event. We get to end with a big event. And we get to do it here in the state. We absolutely do. Now, would it be a problem if the race was to occur? I, I know it's two weekends away at this point. We're not quite sure the winds. But for example, this weekend is going to be a windy one. Does that is that a challenge for the drivers? It is. Um, certainly the, the elements play a role, but one of the really unique things about Homestead Miami Speedway is we have variable degree banking. So the, the, the turns are actually banked at different angles uh, throughout the turn, making, making it really more of a driver's track. Regardless of how your car is handling, you can find a quick way around the track. So it's a fantastic place to crown a champion because it really is about the driver more so than the car. Okay, and last question here. Uh, talk to me about greatest memory so far this season. Well, for me, it's Trevor Bain, a 20-year-old rookie, wins the Daytona 500. Now, this gentleman went to Charlotte without a driver's license, moved in with the crew so he could kind of learn his racing career, mm -hmm. shows up as a 20-year-old at Daytona and gets to hoist this thing over his head. For me, that was the best story. Which of the is, season. by the way, how heavy is This it? is 54 pounds. So imagine you've driven a car for three and a half hours at over 190 miles per hour. You have to lift this over your head. Yeah. I warned him, but it took him a little bit to get it up <laughs> over his head. All right, and how about a great memory so far? I think it's really Tony Stewart's run to this point. I mean, if you look at the end of August, he was worried about not even making the chase. And now here he is with two races to go, three points out of first. 
you know, to go for his third championship. So I think you have to give give some credit to Tony Stewart and what he's done this year. Okay, so an amazing opportunity for you at home, whether it's yourself or your family, you can actually close out the season with our friends here. So uh, tickets are still available. Where Absolutely. do we want to send people to, to get those? Uh, people can go to homesteadmiamispeedway.com or give us a call at 866-409-RACE. But the website will have a, a whole litany of information as to how to spend your weekend with us. Okay, sounds like a lot of fun. I'm going to send it back inside to you. All right, Cherry, thank you so much. Well, he's mostly known for his soulful Latin jazz and the flute, of course. Nestor